Welcome to Haslip Psychworks. In this episode, I'm going to show you a dilemma I ran into while working on the Project Go-Kart and a tool that I believe can help solve that problem. The dilemma that I was referring to when I did the final install of the live axle on the go-kart and I had to go tighten the nylon lock nut on the end of the axle that holds our wheel on. It's a large lock nut that takes a 1 and 16th inch socket to tighten it down. Good bit of nylon in there that you have to cut through with the threads on the end of the axle when you tighten down that lock nut and that's what keeps it from backing off. How do you keep the live axle and wheels and tires from rotating as you try to tighten that lock nut up. In my case, the tires were a little dirty. I have an epoxy coated floor and of course there's grinding dust, there's metal shavings, there's all sorts of stuff on the floor. So when I went to tighten that, the entire axle and both wheels and tires kept spinning and I couldn't come up with a good way to hold the live axle from spinning. Uh, one solution is if the axle is not as wide as this, or you've got a seven foot wingspan on you, which I don't, you could hold one lock nut on this side with a wrench and tighten the one on this side. Well, I don't have that kind of reach. Could I reach it? Yes. Would I be able to tighten it and hold this in at the same time? No. And you, you definitely don't want to take a pair of vice grips and grab onto this axle as you try to tighten those lock nuts up. Because if you mar the surface up or poops this keyway at all, you're going to have trouble. That, that's a headache you don't want. If you don't have a friend to help you, your wheels and tires aren't getting traction um, and you're not able to apply enough force on the chassis to keep the wheels and tires from spinning, how do we lock this thing in place? You've got your brake caliper and everything installed. You can have someone sit up front and lock it up for you. But I didn't have any of those options. And it was kicking my butt. So I think I came up with a tool that helped me and I think can help you guys if you run into this issue. And if you're building a cart like this, should be parts you already have. So you're going to need an axle collar. The split kind is what you're after with the key way cut into it. Uh, of appropriate size for your axle. And of course a piece of key stock that matches the axle and the axle collar. And then just a piece of flat bar stock. This is one inch by a quarter. Um, that's all we're going to need for this and a little bit of time with the grinder and your favorite welding process. So I think you might be able to see what we're trying to come up with here. What we're going to do is turn this into a wrench. We're going to clean this up. This is the side we're going to be welding on. I'm going to put a key in here. We're going to weld it to this half of the axle collar. And then we're going to notch to match the curve of our collar. And we're going to weld this right here. Let's get to it. I didn't quite get the offset right for our handle, but that shouldn't matter. And what I'm going to do is let this cool, hit it with the wire wheel, and then we'll put it together on the axle and see if our idea is actually going to work. Put the key in the key weight on the live axle. The second half of our axle collar. Let's 
install our bolts like we normally would. We just want it snug. The real test though. Can I hold on to this? Alright, backed it off a little bit. Oh yeah, that long handle makes a, gives us a lot of leverage. And I was able to tighten that no problem. As you can tell, wheel wasn't spinning. And the cool thing about this one is I've got one inch live axle on the go-kart and on the mini trike. So same deal there. It will work on that. It'll work on the go-kart. I'll probably shoot some paint on it. Drill a hole in the handle so I can hang it on the pegboards. Hopefully that'll help some of you guys out. If you ever run into the kind of issue yourselves. That's it. Pretty simple, pretty quick, easy to do. All right, guys, uh, until next time, get up, get out there, and do it.